Welcome back to my channel. This is Venetia Alexander Marshall. Welcome. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome as well. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you click on the bell. So when I am uploading on YouTube, you are notified. I'm going to vlog again. This is going to be a very different vlog. Um, actually, this is going to be a very different vlog and a very scary vlog, vlog that I'm going to do for you. And you all are going to follow us and going to go through this journey um, with us. Ooh, I made it dark. And I decided to do this vlog. I kind of decided to do it. And I told my kids, I think I told Kendrick about it, I was going to do this vlog. And uh, this is going to be a scary vlog. And you're going to live it with us. Um, so let me tell you what's going on. First of all, the yes, SGZ to makeup on my face. We're actually going to be coming up here in about another hour or so. We're going to film this makeup review. The makeup I'm wearing on my face. You'll see it. I'll probably put it in the cards above. Um, this makeup I'm wearing. I'm finally wearing Believe Beauty. So this is Believe Beauty I have on my face. We're going to be filming the makeup review in a few minutes, in a, in a little while. So I wanted to do this vlog. And you're going to follow us. So I'm just going to warn people now. It's, 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 it's about to get scary. It's about to get really, really scary. Um, so I, do, I know I have a lot of new people on my channel. Thank you so much for... Subscribe to my channel and following me on uh, YouTube. So to all of my new people, all of my new people, um, I live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I know this vlog is probably not going to go up for another week or so. Probably another two weeks. I'm not sure yet. Depends on what's going on. So the reason why I'm filming this is if you've been paying attention to the news, particularly the weather. It's hurricane season down here in Louisiana, well, us on the Gulf Coast. It is hurricane season. And I'm filming this right now because we have two storms going in the Gulf. Well, one is already in the Gulf. That's Marco. And then we have Laura. <clears throat> Laura is getting ready to get into the Gulf. So I'm going to film, I'm going to vlog us going through both of these hurricanes i've never done this before um it gets kind of and my husband is not from here my husband is from chicago so dealing with storms he's had to get used to dealing with hurricanes and he's not used to dealing with hurricanes because he literally is like i need to go back to chicago <laughs> so i'm about to go outside i'm going to show you um what's going on so this is what we're going through it's sunday right now um, Marco is supposed to hit us tomorrow, but they're saying sometime tomorrow afternoon, we are going, Marco is going to hit us here in Baton Rouge. We are currently under a tropical storm watch. The hurricane warnings and watches have already been posted on the coast of Louisiana. We're finna get a double whammy. And this is a big reason I don't really care about my birthday. My birthday is always foul, peak hurricane season. My birthday was a week and a half after Hurricane Katrina. And my mother forgot about my birthday because we're dealing with Hurricane Katrina. So, yeah. So, I'm going to take you outside and let you see the current conditions outside. So, I'm going outside. Um, I'm kind of being quiet right now because my husband is asleep right now. Um, but he's about to get up in a little bit and he's got to go to work. Um, so, he's working all night tonight at the hospital and they're already in hurricane prep mode and they're kind of in double, <clears throat> double time hurricane prep mode at the hospital that's my air conditioner you hear um so i'm gonna show you so we're outside right now <clears throat> i'm in my backyard i'm under my carport so the wind has begun to pick up um so i'm gonna change this around so you guys can see this is my backyard and if you look you can see the wind and it's cloudy you can see what's going on the wind has been speak up making sure i'm not stepping in ants because i have ant beds out in my backyard so the wind has picked up the wind that you are seeing and what i'm feeling this is marco this is the beginning stages of marco 
see and you see the clouds it has gotten cloudy it's already rained a little bit not a lot so, i just told my kids marco has shifted west northwest he's kind of moving pretty fast moving at 13 miles an hour um <clears throat> so this is what's going on outside right now so the wind has picked up a little bit it's really breezy it's usually very very hot here and um it's very humid down here and um here so I'm gonna turn it this way hi Try to turn my viewfinder yeah there's some thunder sorry thunder all right so i'm about to go <coughs> in the front i don't know why my husband parked his truck like this i don't know why almost like he why my husband walk like this i don't know I don't know, y'all. I don't know why my husband parked like this, y'all. All right. Oh, yeah. That went really kicking up. So, this is what we're dealing with right now. I'm walking towards the front of the house. Um, pretty calm. It's breezy. And the breeze we're feeling, this is Marco um, that we're feeling. Um, so far, nobody has left. It's a little scary for us because literally next door, down here next door to our neighborhood, is the Amy River. And Amy River has is very prone to flooding. Um, but because Marco has now shifted to the west, west northwest, um, that's not a good that's not a good thing for us. We were mainly on the west side of the of the storm, which wasn't bad. There's my neighbor. <laughs> it's my neighbor. Um, yeah, my neighbor's getting ready to just wave at my neighbor. Um, I'll give you a little education about being in a hurricane. The difference between being on the west side of a hurricane and the east side of a hurricane. Um, you always want to be on the west side of a hurricane or a tropical storm. You always want to be on the west side because if you're on the west side, I mean, it's not good to be on either side, but it's more of the wind damage that you have to deal with on the west side. Then that's really about it. You may get some impact, maybe not a lot of impact like with the last storm. Um, tropical storm we had not that long ago um, we were on the west side so it did almost nothing here I mean we got wind and our cable and stuff went crazy because we have satellite um yeah see how I tell y'all let, let me show y'all something see, see how my husband see y'all look see this here why my husband got bumped like this why y'all why why you got park like this, y'all? Why you got park like that? And then there's my little ride right there. Why you got park like that? Why you got park like that, y'all? Why you got park like that? I don't know why you got park like that. Anyway, <laughs> um, when you're on the west side of a storm, you don't get the wind. You don't get a whole lot of impact, really. You know, it's gonna look like just a typical um rainy day. What it's gonna look like? Being on the east side of a tropical storm or a hurricane yeah that's when you need to start praying the east side of the storm because the storm goes when a storm goes storm is um is it counterclockwise they go counterclockwise and on the east side of the storm i know you hear this a lot about being on the east side of a storm you never want to be on the east side the east side of a hurricane or tropical storm you get the tornadoes you get the heavy rain you get the heavy flooding. You get all the bad stuff. Yeah, all the bad stuff that hurricanes and tropical storms spin off. The biggest thing are tornadoes and your rain. That is how New Orleans got towed up with Hurricane Katrina, and parts of Mississippi got hurt, got towed up by Hurricane Katrina. They were on the east side of Hurricane Katrina. With Hurricane Rita, when Hurricane Rita struck three weeks later. New Orleans didn't really get a hold. Well, New Orleans did because it reflooded again. Um, but us here in Baton Rouge, we got ripped a new ass because we found ourselves on the east side of Rita and the flooding, the tornadoes, everything. Same thing back in 1992 with Hurricane Andrew. Andrew shifted and went west. We ended up on the east side of Hurricane Andrew. Let me tell you how many tornadoes, I can't even count how many tornadoes were spun off and hit us in Baton Rouge. 
I mean, you want to talk about somebody that was scared? And I was 16 at the time. Yeah. So, you got to come on this journey with us. So, this is the current weather conditions that we're having right now. It's nice days, not as humid. But, uh, yeah. I just told my kids what happened with Marco. So, Marco, what's going on now with Marco? Marco is first. Marco is going to strike us first. Um, Marco shifted track north, northwest. Marco was kind of going kind of straight. No, my north, northeast, straight. Marco has shifted to the west, which is starting to put us now on the east side of Marco. We already knew we we're going to be on the east side of Laura. Either way, now I'm just going to be flat honest with y'all. I'm scared to death now. I wasn't all that worried about Marco earlier because we're going to be on the west, but now that Marco has shifted. I don't know, guys. Ma told my kids. First thing Kittery said is, "At what hotel are we checking into?" So, yeah. so you gonna come on this journey with us? I'm probably gonna vlog again um, after we do our makeup review on this makeup. Believe Beauty. So, right back. Right. Okay. So we just finished filming the makeup review for Believe Beauty. My daughter's going back there. Okay. So I just gave them the bad news about uh, Marco shifting, <laughs> changing gear. She just turned the light on. So I just gave them the bad news about uh, Tropical Storm Marco, which is supposed to hit as a category one a hurricane. And yeah, I'm getting looks. Miranda's just brushing her hair. Yeah, well, so we're done with that makeup review. I'm about to go clean my brushes. Uh, about to start editing my videos. I'm gonna try and up do an upload if I can, if Marco will let me. <laughs> Marez just asked, "Where's my son?" Well, see, there's a little sun peeking. The wind had picked up though. Oh, I know that. Yeah, the wind had picked up. Um, Marco is moving west northwest at 13 miles an hour, so he's moving pretty fast. Um, so the sun is still out, you know. But still got some clouds up in the sky. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm about to edit my videos. Ooh, it was dark. Kitty about to go outside probably for the last time for the week. <laughs> for the week? Because, I mean, Marco Bolo <laughs> playing in a golf. And he walks up here with his drawers on. <laughs> To see that? Take your ass in the back. None of your business, fool. <laughs> then again, so does everybody else in this house. He like he gives a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Marez just gave that look. Yeah, I don't want to see that. Mom, we was out at the store all day today. Why you wait till now to say you need deodorant? Again, we was at the store all day today, I'm, I'm sorry, Mom. preparing for the hurricanes, and why you didn't say nothing then? Anyway, I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, I'm about to go edit my videos, clean my makeup brushes and my sponges, and we start this thing tomorrow. Bye. I'm sorry if you can't go to work. You're going to be blown away. There. Mark was supposed to start hitting around noon. So I'm sorry. I'm going to work, and then come home. No, ma'am. This girl trying to work in the middle of a damn hurricane. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know who finna come out there to get a hair, to get a uh, haircut in the middle of a hurricane. While well, she walking around brushing her hair, I see your waves. Anyway, oh, let me. I see your waves coming in. Yes. All right. So I'm about to edit my videos. Um, again, clean my makeup brushes, my sponges, and then we go on from there. So, bye bye. Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. Yes, I have my glasses on. I've been up um, for, what time is it? It's eight, after eight o'clock. I've been up since, I've been up for a couple hours already. Um, so here's what's going on. I have been watching the weather um, all morning to see what's going on with the weather. And of course, Marco is not that far uh, from us. Marco has made a drastic shift, a drastic shift. 
um, he has sheared. Um, some wind shear has gotten to Marco. So Marco is currently no longer a hurricane. Marco is back downgraded to a tropical storm. However, it could really uh, messes up because where Marco is tracking, we're going to be on the east side of Marco. And that's not good um, because he is already dumping rain. He's already um, spun some water spouts. Um, so you're not familiar with a water spout. That's just a tornado over water. Um, so that's what Marco has done so far. Uh, Marco has really ripped f Florida really bad with a lot of rain. Because, again, they're on the east side. We're about to be on the east side. So I'm about to take you back outside. And what you're getting ready to see, it's going to change. So I'm going to bring you outside. My husband's at work. The kids are asleep. I just finished editing my videos. Um, so my last makeup review that we did, I just finished doing that. I did two. I did two edits last night, so I'm exhausted. And editing your videos for YouTube, it wears out. Um, so, I'm taking you outside. Yes, the sun is currently out. But the breeze is still here. Um, it's still breezy outside. I'm trying to make sure I don't step in ants. I told you, I got, I got ant beds in my backyard. Um, oh, I didn't see that dragonfly. Not fans of dragonflies. Okay, so as you can feel and see, the wind has definitely picked up. So I'm about to turn you around. So you can see the wind has picked up and it's nice blue skies. <laughs> nice blue skies, because it's after eight o'clock. So it's nice blue skies, but the wind has definitely picked up a little bit. Yeah, so it's sunny, very, very sunny out. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, in less than four hours, this won't look like this. It won't look like this. Oh, dragonfly won't get out my way. So in less than four hours, it won't look like this. So I'm actually awake. I'm actually awake. Um, also, not only did I have to finish with my editing of my videos i'm actually about to go back to the store i forgot a couple of things at the store so i am going to go back to the sleep for the store while my kids are asleep um we pretty much have breakfast stuff here we have everything you need you know pretty much getting ready for a hurricane and tropical storm we have everything ready but if you notice right now outside it does not look like no tropical storm or hurricane coming it's coming um, he has downgraded to a tropical storm. I think it's 65 mile an hour winds. Um, oh Lord, they left garbage people and left them my neighbor's trash and then put their trash all in the bottom of y'all. They're going to get that up. So we are facing some rain. So I'm just outside just looking so y'all can get a glance at what's going on now because in less than four hours, this is not going to look like this. Um, it is early Monday morning. I am off. Um, they have closed all state offices um, here in the several parishes that will be affected by both Tropical Storm Marco and Tropical Storm Laura, which by the time Laura gets into the Gulf, Laura will be a hurricane. Laura is scaring me a little bit more because Laura... Now they're predicting Laura could be a category two, possibly a three. That ain't good. That's a major hurricane. Once they reach category three status and above, it is considered a major hurricane. Um, just like with Katrina, Rita, Andrew, they were all category threes and higher. Um, this is the time, this is peak hurricane season because um, the waters in the Gulf of Mexico right now are extremely hot. This is the hottest that the waters get in the Gulf of Mexico. So that's why they consider this August and September peak hurricane season. So, so yeah, I just wanted y'all to get a glance of outside right now. Um, it's nice, sunny, pretty days, not humid or anything like that. The sun is beaming right now, but I guarantee you that sun won't be beaming for long. 
um, it will be deteriorating. So, um, I am actually about to head to the store right quick while they're asleep. I was able to finish my edits. I'm, t I'm still tired. Um, is editing videos for YouTube? Whew. Finish out. Alright, so I'm about to go back in. I'm about to go. I'm under my carport again. But yeah, it's pretty breezy right now. <sighs> so, we're going to see what the day brings. And um, my kids, well, Miranda's upset because she can't go to work um, because of the storm. So she's off today. She took off today. And she don't have no choice because she went, actually went in on Sunday because she had some heads she had to cut yesterday. And I guess they want to get their haircuts in before the storms hit. So she got some haircuts in uh, yesterday. And my son is out of school. So no virtual learning for him today or tomorrow. They're supposed to let us know sometime tomorrow about um, the rest of the week. I'm not going to say, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty positive they're not going to go to school probably the rest of this week. Um, because Marco is striking today. Laura is supposed to strike Wednesday. And I'm a, ner I'm a little nervous about that because where we live, we're in, our neighborhood is literally next door to a river. So we're definitely going to be watching the river. And if we got to get out of here, we're going to get out of here. Um, luckily, I did gas up my car in case we do have to make an escape out of here. So I did gas up my car. Uh, I did tell my husband to go ahead and gas his car up. Hopefully he can't get gas because yesterday I think I gassed my car up just in time. Because when we went back to the same gas station, I got gas. There was a line. So... So Laura is definitely going to be a big impact on us here in Baton Rouge. They've already mentioned that on the news a few times. That we're definitely going to get some very strong impact from Hurricane Laura. So, so yeah. We're back in the house. Back in the house. So, yeah. I'm about to go to the store right quick, y'all. Um, I had too long to talk to my cousin either. Um, I had talked to her. Um, she showed me the new watches that she just got in stock from her business. I put her and my other cousin, um, their Instagram page is in the bottom of the description box. Um, my cousin, um, she has her, um, business called Lexus Assortment of Things. She have, she's, um, she have the snack shorts. She has snack shorts. She have purses, hats. Um, what else she have? Jewelry. She got a little bit of everything. Them purses, whatever you need as far as accessories, she has it. And then my other cousin, it's her daughter. She's my little cousin. She makes, she hand makes a lot of stuff. She does handmade birthday pins, um, the mug that she made. She did it handmade. Um, she does a lot of handmade stuff. So I told her maybe she needed to consider going on Etsy. She's thinking about going on Etsy. So, yeah. She does a lot of handmade stuff. Handmade bows. Handmade. I mean, do you want logos? She makes shirts. Um, and, so, and what's so impressive, she is 17. And she's had this business, I think, for like three years, four years, or something like that. She's had this business since she was much younger. And she's only had one job, and she said, I can't work for nobody else but myself. And that's a very young mindset to have. So I'm very, very proud of her. Very, very proud of her. Um, so I'm going to put both of their Instagrams in the bottom of the description box. So check them out. Go hit them up. Um, they ship all over the place. So, yeah. I'm about, actually about to go in my room. I'm about to show y'all one of the items she made. I know it's dark in this hallway, y'all. It's dark. Cause they're asleep. All right, I'm in my room. Back in my room. Baby. I got tired of watching um, the news, so I switched to Food Network. <laughs> I was watching Food Network. I was watching Trisha Yearwood. Now I'm like watching Michael Simon. <laughs> um, so I'm about to show you one of the things that she made. One of the mugs. I'm gonna turn this light on. I'm gonna turn this light on. So the mug she made is Southern University mug. 
Yeah, she did this. She she did that. She did this. So yeah, she did this on the mug. Uh, she also have like LSU. She had LSU. She had Alabama Crimson Tide. She had New Orleans Saints. Um, I think she sold some. She sold Alabama Crimson Tide. She sold some Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, and then of course I got Southern University. So yeah, she she had a a plevy of LSU. I mean, she she does it, and she's seventeen. She's seventeen, y'all. So I'm about to get off of this for now. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what's gonna happen when I come back. Y'all gonna see how different the weather gonna be. So I'm about to go to the store, get the last couple of items that I need from the store, and we'll be back. Okay, and I just turned the camera on. Right. So we didn't mean for that bit of TMI for y'all to to hear. <laughs> so the sun is still out. It is what eleven o'clock now, y'all. Ten fifty-five. Marco has turned. It, 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 Marco has steady changed. Um, Marco has steady weekend. Um, though I see the wind has picked up, but of course, typical Louisiana people when we have tropical storms coming on or about to hit, they're outside cutting grass. <laughs> I've heard a couple of them. They're cutting grass, and when I went to the store earlier, we saw more people cutting grass. <laughs> so this is the typical here in. Louisiana, when you have a hurricane or a tropical storm, you cut grass. Luckily for us, they came and cut our grass Thursday, so our grass is good. Well, anyway, um, so yeah, Marco has diminished yet again. Um, it has hit some shearing in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I see the wind has picked up again outside, but yet the sun is still out. Right, so um, I am hungry. I'm going to eat now, um, so as I eat, Kendra, we had all yesterday to do that. Yeah, that's why you're supposed to do all that yesterday. Yeah, and I was able to find that tuna that I wanted, so I am going to make some tuna fish. I got plenty of bread. <laughs> we got plenty of water, and I got some Cokes. And I got plenty of Gatorade. I got plenty of everything. We got snacks. I got some, like I said, I got some more of that, that crackers and tuna. I was able to find it. They restocked it. They just didn't have the pads, that's all. And Miranda's on the phone. She was still trying to go to work. I don't know who the hell was going to pick her up after 12 o'clock when it just went all the hell here. I don't know who she was trying to pick her up. So, yeah, I keep getting in a dark spot here. I see the wind has really picked up, but the sun is still out. So, yeah, I'm going to... Oh, why? Marco? Marco is something like and then you got Laura. Laura yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shoot, Marco turned into Polo and Laura turned into Marco. No. Better yet, no, it's Marco Polo. I see people walking. Get their last little walk in before the weather turns. So I'm looking at the I'm looking Should like no. no yeah the wind has really picked up y'all so the but the sun is still out our neighbor next door here uh, oh look I told you everybody's cutting grass look at our neighbor he's got the lawnmower out yeah baby cut your grass. <laughs> yeah this is a flashlight said don't you. They know. want me to leave out the house again. Please, mama, please. Yeah, really. We got no flashlights. Oh, I'm going outside. Of course, I'm. Oh, you finna walk? I'm going outside. When oh, they finna walk to the store. When it get dark. Walk. I'm not going nowhere unless y'all gonna walk. When it get dark, I'm going outside. I'm going to the store. Well, you better hurry do that now before it get dark, cause you got another hour of freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. And it's about to get dark. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna get dark. What you gonna go outside when it's dark for? Go to the store. 
No, you can go to the store now. Miranda, it's only 88 degrees. It's windy. I'm telling that wind you see in that's Marco. It's not hot. I'm telling you, it's not that it's not hot. It's anything is comfortable right now. Yeah, it's comfortable. See, this girl talking about when it get dark, she wants to go to the store. She wants me to go pick her up. No, this is the time to go now to the store. See, yeah, people cutting grass. So my neighbor uh, has understood, or uh, he must have forgot. Yeah, we have two storms in the Gulf, or one is about to get in the Gulf, the other one's already in the Gulf. He's cutting grass. I see some dark clouds over here. Y'all may want to go ahead and get started, because I see it's getting dark. What dog? We don't have no dog. Okay, anyway, yeah, my neighbor is cutting grass. But that's what we do here in Louisiana. We got a hurricane coming, cut your grass. <laughs> oh yes. Cut your grass. Cause Cut your you grass. don't, cause you don't want all that stuff. And like, you don't want. Yeah. yeah. Cut your grass. You want to cut your grass. So yeah, Miranda is putting clothes in the dryer. My neighbor is cutting grass. People are literally walking outside, getting their last little bit of freedom before Boy. it goes to hell. <laughs> before it starts going to hell here. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting for Marco to hit. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm about to fix me some grits, um, some eggs. You got the Wi-Fi box on? Yeah, but it's on. I, she just, I don't know. No, I, need to go on, I need to go online. Um, I got to, um, yeah, that's Kendrick. You see him? He's just trying to get on the camera. That's all. He just wants to show off. That's, not, that's technically not showing off. Yes, it is. Every time I have the camera up, you're showing off. This is showing off. You just did it. So... Okay, you already did it. You just got on the camera. That so, anyway. That is not showing off. That is, this is the no, fact that. That the, is showing off. No, off. the fact that your ass is on the camera is showing off. This is showing off, y'all. You did all that in the last vlog. I did? Okay. Yes. I was paying attention to myself. I was on Sugar Rush. Seriously, I was on Sugar Rush. Okay. All right. So I have to get on line because I just got an email from the company. I'm doing reordering my packaging. Um, there's an issue with my logo that I sent. So I have to redo it and I'm going to send it as Miranda is on the phone talking loud as hell. <gasps> <laughs> as she always do while I have the camera off. So yeah, I'm about to go give me, I'm about to go give me something to eat. I did give me some coats. We, we have well they're not cold, so I still have my Gatorade. What school bus? Oh, I'm about to say I thought there was a school bus. That's the UPS people. Them people from UPS trying to hurry up because they don't about to turn. Look, the clouds we got dark over there. Yeah. So Marco, that edge of Marco finna come over here, y'all. So yeah, I'm finna eat before it get real. So All right, so Miranda's having a bitch fit. <laughs> Miranda's having a bitch fit, y'all. Um, so major changes with that so-called storm called Marco that was supposed to start ripping us to shreds right now. They've canceled all of the watches and warnings for Marco. Now Marco is barely a tropical storm. <laughs> and we're just like, I could have went to work. I could have went to work. I could have went to work. So, <laughs> so I'm going to satisfy my husband's appetite and let him know we're going to go ahead and go to the blue store Excuse and get. Excuse me. I don't want to go to no blue store. Who are you talking to like that? And this is you too. You talking like that? Yeah, I'm about to say because you lost all your damn mind. Who the hell he think he talking to? He know he finna die. That's why he ran. Hey, you know he finna die. Well, Marco, shit, man. Yeah, Marco has become another Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Bear was supposed to be ferocious, and Bear was like, huh, what? <laughs> well, Marco and Marco instead, um, 
Mar well, I see clouds. It's cloudy somewhat outside. I say it's somewhat. It's somewhat cloudy oh, outside. It's partly, partly cloudy. Yeah, but I see a lot of blue skies, but the wind is still blowing. You are so short. If I were you, I'd get away from me because you're going to die. Yeah. And you don't ever talk to me like that again. You hear me? Okay, I hear you. Yeah. You mean yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Mm hmm. Yeah, we is for Larry. We Laura. Well, who Laura? Laura's Laura. still way down. Man, Laura's still all the way over She done rip. She done rip Cuba. Cuba? Yeah, Man, she done rip Cuba. Man, huh? All the way in Bahamas. Well, best friend, let you go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what has now happened oh, with. Uh, I you had it last. So yeah, Miranda is mad um, cause she could have made her some money. Um, Kendrick is out of school. Yes. So that nine times out of 10, I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'm probably gonna be in the gotta office. gotta go to work tomorrow. Yeah, I gotta go, go in tomorrow. I probably will be leaving. We will all probably be leaving early uh, Wednesday because of Laura. She's supposed to strike Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Nasty. Yeah. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, Marco wimped out. <laughs> Marco has wimped out on us. Like I said, it's still, it's partly cloudy outside. I mean, y'all are so loud. My bad, I just had to let them rip. TMI, I told you, they don't stop. The moment the camera go on, here they go. Oh, and then there's a sheriff deputy riding around. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay, Mr. Sheriff Deputy, because um, we have blue skies. <laughs> we have blue skies. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to end this vlog for today since Marco wimped out on us in the golf. I mean, he's still making that west turn. We're going we're still going to get some rain from it, but not like talking about. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to end this vlog today. So, until we get ready for the next one, Laura. Yes. To the Good morning. It is Tuesday. Yes, I got my hair tied up. Yeah, it's dark in here. It's early in the morning. Ooh, it's real dark in here. It is very early in the morning. Um, so here's what's going on. Marco fizzled out. Marco somewhat made landfall late last night. Um, but we felt absolutely no impacts of uh, Marco at all. Marco is now just a little low system. Somewhere, I believe, in Texas, I believe, and it has now dissipated. Um, so, if you so from yesterday, um, they had canceled all of our tropical storm watches and warnings here in Baton Rouge. They canceled everything because Marco had fizzled out. As of this morning, um, we're back under a tropical storm watch with Laura. Um, Laura has begun entering the Gulf of Mexico. They have upgraded Laura. Now they're saying Laura will hit us as a possible Category 3 hurricane. So they have upped the ante on Laura. And I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous. I'm real nervous. So myself and Miranda, we are going into our jobs today. Um, Miranda got a, some clients um, lined up today to go ahead and get their hair cut before they can't get it cut for at least the next couple of days. Um, Laura is expected to hit us between Louisiana and Texas tomorrow night into Thursday. So nine times out of ten, I will be at work tomorrow too. Probably not all day uh, because of Laura and um, yeah. So that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, I am going to upload um, two videos while I can. Because, um, uh, yeah, things are not looking good for us at all. And what's worse is where this storm is tracking. So I know a lot of people, when they watch the weather, and particularly when it comes to storms, they look at the cone. 
that they see. I'm not particularly, well, it's like this. I do watch the cone, but I particularly pay attention more so to who's on the west side of that cone, who's on the east side of that cone. We're on the east side of that cone. I don't like that. That's where all your worst weather comes in is on the east side of the storm. So we are on the east side. Us along with um, New Orleans. New Orleans is on the east side too. And New Orleans is already in prep mode. I think New Orleans has closed school for the whole week. Because uh, they just were not taking any chances with neither storm. They're more so not taking chances with Laura. So, yeah. So, that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I got my hair tied down. I did, went ahead and um, silk pressed my hair last night. <laughs> Why I did that, I don't know. We got storms coming. <laughs> we got a, a, another storm coming. Well, Marco did nothing. So, so that's what we're going to do today. So, um, I'm about to go to work. I'm about to get dressed, go to work, drop her off at work. Um, finish up a lot of stuff in the office now while we can. Um... And more than likely, I'll be at work tomorrow as well, but probably not all day. They're probably going to dismiss us about noon. They're probably going to go ahead and dismiss us um, because the storm, the impacts of Laura is supposed to start taking effect sometime tomorrow evening. Um, Laura is supposed to start taking effect. So, yeah. So, that's what we're dealing with. We're going to vlog that storm. We're supposed to vlog Marco. Marco fizzled out. Another berry. <laughs> All right, so about to get dressed. I'm about to get out of here. Until next time. Good morning, guys. I didn't vlog the rest of the day yesterday. Um, I did um, go to work yesterday. Miranda went to work yesterday. Um, then we came back home. I was tired, y'all. You know, I was tired because we were trying to get some things done um, before Hurricane Laura struck um so let me just give you an update what's going on right now um it's still it's um almost 6 30 in the morning here it's wednesday my crazy daughter wants to go to work today why i don't know um i'm off work today and tomorrow um laura has strengthened overnight to a category two is supposed to go to a four and then make landfall as a three we are on the east side of the storm and a lot of people are saying oh we're not gonna get very much impact and look let me tell y'all something when you on the east side of, of a hurricane that ain't good and that's reminding me how that track is it's almost reminding me of hurricane rita back in 2005 hurricane rita struck three weeks after katrina Back in 2005, and I remember Rita and Katrina as well. Um, Katrina, not so bad for us um, because we're on the west side of Katrina. But with Rita, we were on the east side and lower. So here's what's happening for us here in Baton Rouge. They are expecting possible tornadoes here in Baton Rouge. Um, we could possibly get them. Um, we are now under a flash flood watch. And I'm very worried about that because where we live, we literally live next door to the Amy River. And Amy has a tendency to flood. I am outside of my, I'm at my front door. Um, so, let's see, we're going to go outside. I'm not going to show you all of me because I don't have any glue. Um, you can definitely tell with uh, Rita, with Rita, with uh, Laura. Um, I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, we got foggy. Uh, this is what it looks like right now. Uh, yeah, my we were in a cold place. Now it fogged up. Fun. Uh, I'm gonna clean my lens, y'all. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Look at the clouds. Um, the wind has um that you see and feel in. Um, that is the beginning outer bands of Laura. I just finished watching the news. My camera, y'all. <laughs> my camera. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, so you see the clouds. 
um, the clouds that are coming through. These are the beginning outer bands of Laura. And they are making their way here. Picking up the wind is beginning to build a little bit. So yeah. Oh, bug. <laughs> Dog on bug. Yeah. My house is cold, y'all. And then I come outside and then uh yeah, it falls off the camera, y'all. Um so yeah, that's what's going on now. This crazy girl still wants to go to work. I don't know why this crazy girl wants to go to work. Um, the conditions are going to deteriorate probably by noon. Here, the conditions are going to start deteriorating. She wants to be at work. And it's so crazy. My camera keeps fogging up, y'all. Uh, they had people calling her for appointments. She was pretty booked up yesterday. And people want a hurricane haircut. That's what I've been calling it, hurricane haircut. And... Believe it or not, there are people that want a haircut day. And I'm like, what? And she's like, Mom, I got to go to work. But what, girl? Y'all know they got a hurricane coming. Oh, it ain't going to strike us. We on the east side. So. I'm going to take this girl to work, but I'm going to tell her, uh, you're going to have to leave by a certain time because, uh, yeah, that's, this storm is uh, not playing with nobody. Not playing with nobody. So I'm gonna go back in the house. I'm actually gonna upload a YouTube video for you guys. Um, I'm going to upload. My camera is fogging up because my house is cold, and now I'm outside and it's warm, so it fogs up my camera. Um, I'm about to go and upload a YouTube video for you guys. Um, it's gonna be my updated Revlon uh, makeup review that we did. Um, I'll go ahead and upload that. Um, I actually did bring some work home. Um, I brought some work home. So I'm gonna do some work. I got bit, y'all. I got outside and already got bit by an ant. Um, of course, that's me with no shoes on either. Um, so I'm about to go back in the house, upload a video. Yeah, <laughs> camera keeps fogging up. Um, what else am I gonna do? Fix some coffee. This girl may be up by then. Take her to work, come back, and then we're gonna see how things roll from there. Y'all, look at this. Hmm. This what we're dealing with, y'all. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. See what we deal with during hurricane season. This is what we deal with. Ah. <laughs> yeah, back y'all up because I don't need y'all up in my nose. <laughs> y'all up from my nose, y'all. So that's what we're dealing with right now, y'all. This is what we're dealing with. Um, so I am right now on my phone. I am watching the news. I usually have my TV, y'all, on CNN. I've uh, switched off of CNN. Um, and I'm not watching my local news. Well, I'm about to go back to CNN. And we just got word from the National Hurricane Center. Marissa told us now a Cat 3 storm. This hurricane is now a Category 3, y'all. So. Yeah, so this is what we're doing away right now. But I'm still trying to upload this video for you. Guys, I just want y'all to see. This is what we're dealing with. That's why our nerves are on edge right now. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So, so much y'all to see that. That's what we're dealing with.
I spent too much. I'm gonna go get my coffee. My coffee should be done now. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this video for you guys. Alright, I'm about to take this girl to work. The kids just saw uh, what Laura's doing and they're like, what the? <laughs> so, yes, I'm vlogging, y'all. Oh, the wind had picked up. So, yeah, I see the wind has really picked up. At least it's comfortable. Okay. Yeah, say hi to the camera. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Here. Look at all that. And of course, there's Kendrick in the back. You know he got to go everywhere. Oh, now nah, he don't. Yeah. He got to go everywhere with us. So yeah, they just saw what the storm is doing, and they're like, "Huh." <laughs> She finna go to work. So we finna take this girl to work. Apparently people want hurricane haircuts. So. But the wind has definitely picked up some. So. She, yeah, she gotta go to work. And she moving appointments up to the day since people want to get her <laughs> hurricane haircuts. <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely tell the wind has picked up. Definitely is more breezy. Uh, we are excited to get tropical storm force winds and that storm is closing in. It's, it's like 250 miles mm. um, off of, um, from Lake Charles. <gasps> um, so that's what's going on. I'm about to take this girl. Ah, it's bright. Why is it bright? Shine bright like a diamond. All right. And it's another thing. And just that fast, we just got our grass cut. Our grass then grew right back like what the hell so that's the state that we're in right now y'all we about to take this girl to work yeah she she got haircuts to do she make that money. yeah she got to make her money my husband's already at work and then he's got to work tonight in the midst of this storm miranda's best friend think we don't get tornadoes here in baton rouge um yeah we get tornadoes. Just had one last month. <laughs> it was a tornado. And people, windows got blown out at the hospital. They thought somebody broke in it. Yeah, Mother Nature broke in your car. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's going on. I'm about to take this girl to work. We still tracking uh, Laura. They have evacuated some people out of Lake Charles because Lake Charles is in for a direct hit. They've um, evacuated them out of Lake Charles and they're here in Baton Rouge. Um, they are about, I heard they're about to close like the levee system in Texas. Mm -hmm. And there's some mandatory evacuations in Beaumont, Texas as well. Um, Houston wasn't looking all that great either. Houston is not Houston. No, and neither is Shreveport. Shreveport is in a line of fire too. So and uh i think they said alexandria might be safe i'm not sure um i don't know yet i don't know all right so that's the state of what we in right now we about to brace for this storm here see some of the clouds okay we got crows in the middle of the road can you get out the way before i run y'all over these crows. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Okay. Is that rain already? Well, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, she trying to make her she trying to make her statement known. I'm coming in these parts. <laughs> My outer band's coming in these parts. So, it was Walmart full. I think, I think I just saw Walmart full. Yeah, Walmart full. Oh, all right. All right, y'all. Let's check back. Y'all, this is what we mean by hurricane evacuation. Look at that hotel. It is full of people. People evacuating from the storm. 
so the two hotels these hotels are down the street from our house we just dropped my rents off at work so there's Kendrick Kendrick is down in the sea um, both hotels are down the street from our house they are packed and as you can see that hotel back there it's packed that I don't know there may have been a couple of parking spots but that hotel is packed and the other hotel that just just down the street it's a gas station that separates the hotels they're both packed with um, people that have evacuated from Hurricane Laura so that's what we're talking about a lot of people have left from the from the Lake Charles and um, Texas area and they're here in Baton Rouge um, you may have some people from Lafayette Louisiana that are here in Baton Rouge um, they are still saying for us here in Baton Rouge uh, we are going to get some flooding but they are also talking tornadoes so we may get some tornadoes here and that's the bad part of being on the east side of the storm people think they always pay attention to the cone and what the weather forecasters say about the cone who's in the cone the cone don't mean nothing it's all about who's on the west side and who's on the east side that's what really gives you the most problems as well as the eye and direct hit if you're on the west side you're going to get some wind but it's not really going to be a big impact as opposed to being on the east side and that's just the suck part for us being on the east side of the storm uh, some of the clouds look at those clouds the clouds the clouds I'm going to show y'all we're at we're at McDonald's <laughs> see the clouds the clouds are moving these are the clouds these are the beginning bands of Laura that we're getting and you can see some of those clouds are moving moving at a good pace too yeah those are the, the bands from Laura so that's what we're getting we're getting some we're getting um the bands we've already got like a couple of showers already from Laura but that is expected throughout the day today um I told Miranda to watch her time um, she's got a client that's supposed to come to the shop in 45 minutes So she is once again pretty busy today um, So yeah so We're about to go order our food and get back. All right guys it has started I'm sitting in my room trying to upload this video for my youtube channel and boom tornado warning Northern Livingston Parish. See the little warning, Kendrick, on the TV? Oh, yeah, I was watching, and all of a sudden I saw that tornado warning popped up. Yeah, so let the games begin with this daggone storm. This storm has really just. What the heck? My phone is blowing up. My phone has been blowing up all. Since I've been sitting here, and all I did is just upload, is uploading, I'm trying to, it, well, it's trying to process right now my um, YouTube channel, my YouTube video I am trying to um, upload, which is our updated um, Revlon makeup review. I'll put that in the cards above. Um, man. And parts of our parish is under this tornado warning. Ken, it's Northern Livingston Parish and parts of our parish is under the tornado warning. Oh my lord. Tropical storm warnings have now been issued. I'm telling y'all, see. Here we go. This is the product of being on the east side of a hurricane. We're already getting the warnings. And they're saying they're getting tornado activity already. Yeah, I see. See the sale? And they just started issuing tropical storm warnings. So probably when this warning is over with, we're going to go into a tropical storm warning. Yes. All right. 
so let the fun begin with Hurricane Laura. Laura has intensified to 125 miles an hour now. Yeah. This is just, yeah, the worrisome stuff of dealing with hurricanes. And like I said, um, you don't have to necessarily be in the cone. It all depends on which side of the storm you're on. And again, we're on the east side. This is the result of being on the east side. We're now under a tornado warning. So, And look how big that storm has gotten, Ken. The miller bars have dropped. See, when the miller bars inside of the tropicals, inside of the hurricane drop, that means it's getting stronger. And what it is, is that it's in that really, 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 really warm water of the Gulf of Mexico. So we kind of knew this was going to happen. The start of tornado warnings and all this other stuff. We're still under a flash flood watch here, but now we're under tornado warnings. So... It is in the northern part mostly of Livingston Parish. Anything Livingston, I worry because where we live, we're literally next door to Livingston Parish. It's like we're in East Baton Rouge Parish. And when we get on the interstate on I-12, go to the right, Livingston Parish is right there. The Amy River is right there. Everything's right there. What the hell? Look at that. That is right by Women's Hospital. There's a cell. So, here we go, guys. First warning of Laura hitting us. So, yeah. We're about to have a lot of fun. and then yield the floor to Ben. Uh, we need everyone in southwest Louisiana paying very, very close attention to the storm and heeding the warnings uh, that have been going out for a number of hours now. You're going to hear ranges of storm surge that we haven't heard in Louisiana since Hurricane Audrey in 1957. You're going to hear the word unsurvivable to... No, uh, this storm is storm serious. Are expecting. And what we know is that the weather this is what we're dealing with. Louisiana and really across all and on the side, we zoom out to, Over the next several hours to the point where we're That's what's going on. That red box I was telling y'all, the tornado warning, they example, shrunk the box over. So now we're out of it. So, yeah. This is the start of a long day, a long night, a long tomorrow, a long everything. So I'm going to go back, watch the governor. Alright guys, I'm outside. I'm going to show y'all what I mean. The wind has really picked up out here, so take a look. See? Look at the wind, y'all. The wind has really picked up. This one is still out, but the wind has picked up. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, it has really picked up. Oh, look, now Kendrick wants to come outside. See how the trees? We've already had two tornado warnings. Already. That one has picked up. Look, you see the wind? This is Laura. And we are getting her outer bands right now as we speak. They are expecting tropical storm force winds here in Baton Rouge, so this is it. This is the life of living in a Gulf state, and you have to deal with hurricane season. So this is what we're dealing with right now. Look, he just needs to be on the camera. Y'all know how Kendrick is. He just needs to be on the camera with a mask on. And it ain't but us here. You know how he is. 
So this is what we're dealing with right now. Yeah, the other tornado was by my job downtown. Downtown Baton Rouge. By my job. So yeah. Um, I told Miranda she really needs to pay attention. I had to text her, um, let her know that we were under a tornado warning. She was like, okay. She was still cutting hair. She's so busy worried about getting money. I'm like, you need to be worried about your safety. <laughs> so uh, she's supposed to be wrapping up at about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, come home, and then we're probably going to be hunkered down the rest of the night. And 9 times out of 10, she's not going in the shop tomorrow. Um, we're, they're expecting about 2 to 4 inches of rain here. Um, they just updated them warnings. I think we're now out of the tropical storm warning phase, but we may uh, be under tropical storm watch, but we are also under flood watch. So. Yeah, so we're about to go back in the house. Walk in. How you going? So we're about to go back in the house. Wow, that water, I mean, that water, that's a nice breeze, but man, man, yeah, all right, so yeah, we're back in the house, my neighbor just let his dog out, I don't like that dog, <laughs> yeah, that dog is real mean, so we hurried up and came back in when we saw the neighbor with his dog, I guess the dog got to take a poop before the weather really gets started so yeah this is the downside of living in a gulf state uh, particularly uh hurricane alley so this is hurricane alley and as you can see the sun is still out but you can definitely see the wind has definitely picked up and we have already had two tornado warnings already and that was bad because they were issuing those tornado warnings while the governor was speaking so yeah so I'm gonna see what I can do work-wise. I just uploaded my video. I was able to upload it. So I'm going to go ahead and get that video out before we have no power. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a couple of more things. Um, I'm supposed to be sending an email back um, to the company I'm using. They are redes I am um, redesigning my packaging for VAM Cosmetics. Um, so I got to send them another picture of my logo because it was a little too fuzzy the pixels so i got to reduce the pixels on it yeah on top of all that i'm being a business owner i'm working um waiting on my daughter to finish up because i really don't want to get caught in the middle of all this wind and something happens to us i really don't want that happening um because i told her i'm like you're putting all of us in danger just by you going to work and you're also putting yourself in danger because you're going to need to, if you need to get out, you're not going to be able to get out. And I'm not going to be able to come get you because you were stubborn. <laughs> oh, I told her wrap up between two and three o'clock. She needs to go ahead and wrap up. Um, so and that's when things are really going to start getting bad here. It's about that time. So, and then overnight tonight, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty. So, all right, let me go back to work. <laughs> okay, man. Really, Kendrick? Oh. See what happens? I just turn the camera on and boom. Boom. So I'm going to show y'all what's going on now. It's been a few hours. This is Wednesday. If our phone blow up one more time with a tornado warning, oh. <laughs> Marissa she's going to throw it. We have been blowed up with how many tornado warnings? About four, five. I was from meeting number two. Yeah, you was in the shop, and then three tornado warnings came while we were waiting on you. Now we got another tornado. Warning. Yeah. And then we walk in the house. Here's another tornado warning. Yeah, all I had was two that came in. So yeah, Laura not playing. People in Lake Charles, you can't see Lake Charles right now. So this is what we're looking at right now. This again, bad. The reason for you don't want to be on the west side, west on the east side of a hurricane. You testing your clippers? Oh, uh, so I'm gonna show y'all. We's raining. That wind it kicked up, y'all. That means my thing about to fog up again. God dog it. So yeah. So here's what it look like now, y'all. Yeah, now we got lots of yeah. My camera, cause my house is cold. So now we're raining. The wind had kicked up earlier. 
So this is what we're dealing with now. I knew Kendrick was about to bring his ass out here. He got to be on the camera. Mm -hmm. Kendrick always got to be on the camera. Always got to be on the camera. No matter what, run. he always got to be on the camera. I can the run and run back. What you finna do? <gasps> Nothing. You finna go check that mailbox, aren't you? Yeah. That's why you got that and, and you know I have the camera. See, my camera keep fogging up because it's cold. Um, I'm going for it. Okay. No what? I'm not gonna take that chance. So, no. so any mo oh, that rain picked up. See you but ass you the but you done wasted so much time. Uh-huh. Ready? Kendrick. That rain and picked up. Y'all this rain and picked up. This boy trying to run out in the rain. And if I do, I'm gonna spray it on. And he is in the rain, y'all. Got it. And the shit wet. Okay, anyway, I'm going back in the house. I just want y'all to see. This is gonna be a long day, a long night, and a long morning dealing with Laura. Um, so yeah, that's what we're dealing with right now. Is that my husband? Nope. That's not my husband? No, that it's not my husband. Oh, I see. That's not him. He should be pulling up in a little bit. Then he got to get ready to work tonight. Ooh, yeah. My, 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 my camera keeps fogging up because it's warm out here and it's cold in my house. And Kendra keeps coming out high side because, yeah. So I'm going back in the house and work on what I'm working on. Yep. Oh, work. Working on work. Yep. And I'm going back in the house, y'all. Going back in the house. All right, y'all. I think we all just said let the games begin. Kendrick up here watching TV. The rain it is pouring. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. It is pouring. Oh, it just went out? Okay. Oh, you're watching DVR? Okay. So yeah, y'all, it is coming down. I told Miranda earlier, if I get one more tornado warning on my phone, we have had several tornado warnings all day today. This is gonna be a very long night for us. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Woo! Not to mention, uh, they've already shut down uh, I-10 at uh, Lake Charles, going into um, Texas. They shut, the, the governor has shut down uh, I-10. So, yeah, this is what we're kinda, looking at and yeah, Miranda just went outside so yeah it's coming down I'm not coming out all the way my once again my camera fogs up because it's too cold in here and it's warm out here I, got it. I just felt my, I had a do this I'm always having to do this to my camera I felt a, I felt you felt it. that yeah I it, but, I didn't feel it. but yeah mm -hmm. I think yeah we're supposed to get wind gusts up to 48 we're gonna we're supposed to get tropical storm winds tonight. That's the only problem we're gonna have. Winds and uh, again rain. So yeah, it's like on and off, on and off. So, so yeah, it's gonna be a long night for us. Even though we're not gonna get the, we're not supposed to get the biggest of it. I know every time I keep doing it to my camera, y'all, because it is cold in my house, and when we go outside, it's super humid outside and it fogs up my camera so I'm sorry if I keep putting my finger in the camera that's why um, the AC has cut off for the moment but um, my husband is at work my husband actually left for work early so he's working all night he's working in the middle of the storm and he's working again tomorrow night um, so yeah it is going to be a long night for us yeah Kendrick is peeking out the window this fool here see this boy here Speaking out the window. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to be up. It's, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. So, um, I've been doing a lot of work at home today. That's what I did. Um, Miranda ended up leaving work a little early. Um, and while we were waiting for her from her job, 
um, it literally, it was like three tornado warnings, literally back to back to back. We had three tor tornado warnings. So when we watched the news, they said it was a total of 25 tornado warnings they had today in Baton Rouge. So, what's going on now? Ew, nasty. We're probably going to get a lot of critters since a lot of rain coming. Ew, that's what they get. That's why I don't like going outside barefoot. I don't like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. It is going to be a long night for us. I'm probably going to be up and down, up and down, up and down all night. Um, I'm off again tomorrow due to the storm. Miranda is taking off tomorrow as well. Kendrick doesn't have any school. Um, it is going to be horrible in Lake Charles. It's... I know Lafayette, Iberia, Nor Morgan City is all going to be bad. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to be up. Even though they said we're not going to get a lot of the impact, but we are going to get tropical storm force winds here. So, yeah. The storm is supposed to hit land literally at any time now. It's supposed to be like tonight into tomorrow is when uh, Hurricane Laura is supposed to hit. So, we're going to check back in with y'all. Let y'all know what's going on. Morning guys, it's almost six in the morning. Ooh, um, Hurricane Laura made landfall um, last night slash this morning. Um, it's Thursday. Um, 150 mile an hour winds. Um, I had to turn my porch light on because it's still pretty dark. Um, it's thundering and the wind has really, really, really picked up here in Baton Rouge. Um, Camera parents are still getting, uh, Lake Charles is really getting hammered really, really bad. So I want you to see what we're going through here in uh, Bat Rouge right now. Um, we are getting a lot of wind. So I want y'all to see. I hate coming out here barefoot. I hate to see my I knew my camera was going to fall up again because it's cold in my house. So I knew it was going to, um, so yeah, it has, um, picked up. I didn't come out too far. Yeah, so I'm gonna flip it over so you can see. So this is what it looks like right now. It's windy. I do not know. I think we're supposed to get up to 50 mile an hour wind here. So this is what it looks like. You can see the wind has really picked up a lot. Really, 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 really picked up. We're doing it right now. Yeah, it's cold in my house, but it's warm outside. So this is what we're doing right now. This is ooh, yeah. This is Laura. We're on the back end of Laura, so this is what you're seeing. The back end of Laura on the east side. Um, we didn't get too bad. We have not lost our electricity. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. So this is Laura that we're getting, guys. This is Laura. Um, so yeah, this is Laura that we're getting. I'm about to come back in the house. Uh, so this is Laura. I've been up since about 4.30 this morning. Um, cut that porch light back out so yeah it's dark or better yet let me go back because you can't see me now <laughs> let me just do this now you can see me because i had you in the complete dark because uh, it's still really really dark um outside um so yeah that's what we're going through right now it's just really 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 windy uh it's been windy all night um and it's been thundering. We've had some bouts of rain. This is what we're going to be getting all day today. It's a lot of wind and a lot of rain. Um, I do know there's a lot of damage in Lake Charles. One of my kids are up. Of course, that's Miranda. <laughs> See, when I get up, they must know when I'm up because here they come. Yep, I told you that's Miranda, y'all. Yeah, Laura tore 
Lake Charles a new ass. So this is the wind that we're getting from Laura right now. For real? Mm-hmm. Here it is right there. You see? That wind it picked up. Oh. Like a lot. And it's been um thundering all night and that wind it picked up all night. It's like the wind's been going up and down, up and down. Now it's really, really picking up. But yeah, Laura is on land. She's still um, tearing Lake Charles a new ass. That beach that I went to as a kid, mm -hmm. they're saying, what beach? That beach gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she hit as a, cat a very strong category for almost category five. She hit as 150 miles an hour. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's supposed to be like this all day. So this is what we're going through right now. I had to get the <laughs> It's almost six in the morning and it's us. I'm tired. I know. I'm actually about to, I think I'm about to fix and make some coffee this morning. Mm, well, I'm going to have to because I got to cut That's right. They coming to the house today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to fix me some coffee. Um, I had to get up because I, I, I ain't got time to listen to no Mike Pence. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to listen to him. I don't. I don't. Um, so, yeah, that's what we're going through right now. It is windy. Oh, that's a big thing of lightning. Laura just cutting up here in Louisiana. Laura just really cutting up. Like, she really cutting up, y'all. She cutting up. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. So we're going to see what the day break brings later on. Hopefully you, well, knock on wood, so far the lights have, um, they, uh, they just interviewed um, Lieutenant General um, Honoré um, on CNN. They just interviewed him. So, so yeah, this is the fun stuff of going through a hurricane and you live in Louisiana. <laughs> I yeah, can't go with it. You, yeah, this is Hurricane Alley. This is what we deal with every year when, it, you know, we have hurricane season. And this is just, what we're getting is after effect. Well, not after effect. We're on, like, the east side of Lara, so. Well, it's uh-uh, it's, it's going, yeah, most of Texas didn't get the impact as they thought. I know Houston got some, but not the way it struck Cameron Parish and it struck Lake Charles, like, something fierce. It so, really did. It struck like something for you, y'all. So, yeah, so this whole storm is for Louisiana. Basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Welcome to our life living in Louisiana during hurricane season. So, well. Yeah. So that's what it is. We're getting, this is Laura. That, that, that's Laura. So, yeah, we were supposed to get winds of 50 miles an hour. And I think we're still supposed to be getting those winds. Um, so Laura has come to shore. We are, Laura is like on the back end now. But Shreveport is in direct line of fire of that storm. And Alexandria, where my where I have family at, um, they're also in direct line of fire there as well. So, yeah. I'll tell you the storm. Ain't nothing to play with y'all. Ain't nothing to play with. So. It is what it is. <laughs> you see? Okay, so I'm. Well, I guess apparently people don't care about a, 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 a hurricane. Um, Marissa's on her way to the barbershop, and they have a lot of people at the shop. Hurricane cuts. Need uh, haircuts. So I'm actually about to take Miranda to work. Um, so let's see what's going on out here. Ooh, a bug. Come on, fool. So she is getting dressed right now. What's up, y'all? Uh, yeah, that's Kendrick. Yeah, so she's getting dressed right now. I'm about to take her to work. I'm about to start some work myself at home because we are off from the office today. Um, Let's see, I, I, this is my first time coming outside. I saw a bag fly. Um, so it's much calmer. Earlier, the wind was blowing like a mug. Um, Lake Charles, Cameron Perry, they got tore up bad. We... I can't even walk in the grass. No, I wouldn't walk in the grass. I wouldn't. Um, 
So yeah, that's what's going on right now. I'm about to take this girl to work. Um, I know they had a car in the they had a car in a ditch off of I ten I ten and twelve. Yeah. They had a car in a ditch, and there's a fire a chemical fire in Westlake, uh, Louisiana, which is just outside Lake Charles. Um, so they have a chemical fire going on right now. I think a lot of that has to do with Hurricane Laura. It did strike as a Category 4. But us here in Baton Rouge, we got away pretty unscathed. It's still pretty cloudy here right now. Um, there's some of the wind still, but it's not as bad as what it was earlier. Because that wind was bad earlier this morning when me and Miranda got up. Um, so yeah, I'm about to take her to work. They want them haircuts. So, boss man was looking for Miranda. So, she told boss man, I'm, I'll be on my way. They have a slew of walk-ins. So, she is on her way to the shop now. So, that's what we're waiting on now. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Let me get back. Let me get back under the carport. It's starting to rain. So, what we're getting right now is the back end of Laura. Um, oh, it's starting to pick up. Yeah, it's starting to pick up. So, yeah, we're getting the back end of Laura. Is what we're getting. What's that? I just see. need that. That's all I need. Let me put that back in the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that oh, rain picked up. That rain picked up, yo. That rain picked up. Yeah, that rain picked up. Well, I'm sitting in the car. I'm waiting on this girl. So yeah, we got all pretty unscathed, but that's what we go through here in Louisiana when we're preparing for a hurricane. And um, this thing did hit as a Category 4 hurricane, uh, sustained winds of 150 miles an hour. Um, this thing was was stronger than Rita. They didn't get the storm surge of the, what they thought, but the flooding is taking place now in Lake Charles and in Cameron Parish. And the damage that I've seen so far, it's horrendous damage and it's damage hor it's horrifying it is it's horrendous now they got to deal with a fire on top of all of that um but they did predict here for us in baton rouge um that we may still get some tornado warnings because we're on the tail end of laura laura has gone to shreveport um up there in shreveport monroe and there are people in shreveport right now with no power um i need to check on my aunt and uncle in alexandria um, Alexandria got hit pretty hard. It was headed towards Monroe, Louisiana, and it's actually people in Arkansas should now be feeling um, Laura. Have we, it have did, we been huh? Have we been tomorrow? Mm -mm. Huh? You know, furthest we've been is Alexandria. You know, that's where Barbara and Dennis live. Oh. Alexandria. I think we went to Shreveport. No. It's the furthest we've been is LA. Mm. Yeah, we've been to LA. We've been through. Lake Charles, the beach. I remember that beach in Lake Charles. Oh, I went to gone? that beach um, as a kid. That beach is gone. It's underwater. And that beach is underwater, and, and it's now by beach? the yeah, it's by the La Borge Casino in Lake Charles, and part of the hotel has been ripped apart by Laura. So, overall, we got away pretty unscathed here. Um, Mom, man, what? What's that? Look at that tree. What tree? No, look at that tree. You don't see that tree right there? Uh-uh. What are you talking about? Did it did it break? Yeah, look. I don't see no tree. Oh, mama. You got some old people eyes. Oh, ah, hush, boy. Look at that tree, mama. I know you see that broken down tree. No. So apparently we got a broke tree. He's trying to say that we got there's a tree down. It's in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm not gonna let him have that. He's talking about a couple of branches that didn't fail. It'd be all right. It ain't the whole damn tree, y'all. He's just trying to show off. Okay. I got some generators. Don't talk too much, now. So far, you know, knock on wood, we have not lost power. Oh, here she come. Here she come, y'all. All right, so we about to take this girl to work. So we're going to end the, blog, the vlog right here. So now you know what we go through dealing with a hurricane. We got away pretty unscathed. You know, we finna ride around. 
I'm about to cut the car on. Let me cut the car on. Lord have mercy. Yeah, so with that being said, this is Venetia Alexander Marshall. I got Kendra. And then we got old Ty Moranza back there in the back. Yeah. And I hope y'all have a great day. Night. Oh! We can't get no copyright strike. And now you see what we go through with the hurricane. So, that being said, hope y'all take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.